Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I am in the Ford Ranger EV electric pickup truck. This was a factory built pickup truck from 20 years ago. Um, right now it's running on lead acid batteries and unfortunately the first time I took this out for a ride it only went 12 miles per charge. Uh, it's winter, it's cold, that does not help lead acid batteries and I have no idea how old they are. Now one thing that I've got is, this is kind of a cool device here that I got with the truck. It is a new generation star tester. I'll, I'll do an entire video on just this thing. But the important part about it right now is it lets me communicate with the battery controller computer that's in the truck and that can read the entire battery pack. So right now if I look at this it says 326 volts. It is in the upper right corner there. Not sure if you're going to be able to read that or not. Um, and that's actually a little bit lower than I would hope that it would be right now. Um, but unfortunately, it looks like these batteries are, are just not up to snuff. And as soon as you put any kind of a load on them, that voltage starts dropping a bit. So I'm going to drive. I'm going to keep my eyes on the road and occasionally take a quick little look at this. And we'll see how far we can go this time. I, I reset the computers and everything in here. So when I turn the truck on, the range remaining meter does go right up to 60. And the state of charge uh, goes all the way up to full. So let's turn it on, go for a ride. And I'm hoping this camera doesn't bounce around too much. And I am resetting the trip odometer right now. Okay, so I might have to watch that camera on the turns, I suppose. We're doing 45 miles an hour right now. Battery meter is reading full. Uh, distance to empty is at 60 miles. Economy dial is right about in the middle. And I'll take a left-hand turn onto this freeway bypass up here. Doing uh, 63 miles an hour here right now. So just looking at my odometer right now, we're at six miles. Um, I was going 55 miles an hour most of that way. So I thought maybe right here might be a good time to turn around. Uh, since last time, uh, I only got 12 miles total. Um, I'm thinking turning around when six miles from home is probably a good idea. Uh, I'll probably take the, a different route on the way back. So it's kind of more mixed driving, more city. And after that, just keep going, watch the voltmeter and see where it goes. I thought I'd turn down a road I've never been down before. Turns out there's all these like private road, no trespassing signs. It goes from a, a public road to private property, keep out like that. And I thought it would be fun just to take you out on a different road. eight miles on the odometer. Um, I'm in a 55 zone. Distance to empty is at 50 miles, but it looks like it's starting to drop fast. It held high for a long time, now it's dropping fast. Also, I do not have the heat on. Uh, the heat seems like it probably draws a fair amount of power. don't know exactly what measurement uh, is being used here for estimating the range. Right now, if I'm stopped, my battery voltage is at 324 volts. Uh, battery pack state of charge, 71%. Distance empty is at 40. Um, full to empty is a little bit above half. So it doesn't seem like it's necessarily proportional to battery pack voltage, and it really kind of couldn't be because pack voltage is just bouncing around quite a bit on here, but on the dashboard, it's not. So, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to keep driving and see what it tells me. Well, the good news is we're at 13 miles, so we already beat the previous record. Uh, pack voltage, 318 volts. Um, distance empty, 30 miles. We'll just keep driving, see what happens. So zipping along here in a 40 mile an hour zone right now, pack voltage 280. Um, I'm not that good at dividing by 26 in my head, but that's gotta be relatively low. Um, 
battery state of charge, it says 49%. There's our distance to empty, almost nothing. And on our voltmeter over here it says, yep, it says it is time to recharge. Well, the good news is that we hit 17.2 miles. So that's a, a new record that beats the 12 miles from last time. Uh, if I look at our computer here, it says 317.5 volts. Uh, this is a 312 volt nominal system, 26 lead acid, 12 volt lead acid batteries. Um, so at 312 volts, each of those batteries is at 12 volts. Um, so ballpark math, we're very close to 12 volts on each battery right now. But just a minute ago, being under load, uh, that battery voltage was dropping way down. I mean, we're getting, uh, you know, 10 and a half volts. Battery's done at that point, you know, stop, recharge them. You don't want to be digging deeper than that on a, on a 12 volt lead acid battery. Um, I'm still a little curious as to how the truck actually calculates the distance to empty and the full to empty uh, electron fuel pump gauge. And I think what it may be doing is actually basing things more on, on voltage, but while you're under a load to see that what that is. Because as I was starting to really drop the voltage under the load, that's when the gauges on the truck really started to go down quick. Um, I did not get a turtle icon on the dashboard. I did not get a reduced power pullover recharge right now, but I think that was coming really, really soon. And just based on the voltage as I was seeing here, I thought it was time to stop driving. Um, like I said, I'll do a video just on this device that lets you do some really cool things. But for now, even just something simple like being able to see my pack voltage, pretty cool. Uh, very, very useful stuff. So I'm gonna put this on charge and what I'll do is I'll uh, track the power. I've got a, a, an ammeter, a watt hour meter so we can track how much power this takes to recharge. Probably just plug it in, let it run overnight, check it tomorrow morning. And then we can figure out the efficiency and I think there's gonna be some bad efficiency. I think there's gonna be a lot of charging losses based on these being older batteries. But I guess we'll find out um, after we do that. So until next time, stay charged up. That's my miniature car collection right there. Charging at 24 amps.